Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. The matter I do serious. So, so Tinubu was in UN and he gave them a statement or he gave a speech. A part of what he said is, I remove corruption. Okay. I remove the corrupt cost fuel subsidy. I remove the corruption that was called fuel subsidy in Nigeria to give confidence to investors to come invest. That was what Tinubu told the UN Assembly. He said he had to remove the fuel subsidy. So this is the reason he has removed the fuel subsidy, saying he has to remove it so that, um, you know, people can begin to understand that um, there is need for them to, you know, to move out and, you know, and for Nigeria to begin to respond to the new, to the new level of things. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. President Tinubu said this on Wednesday at the United Nations Assembly General Assembly, where he campaigned the need for Africa to surmount foreign extraction and all that is going on to attain prosperity through democratic idea. Nigerian President Bola Metinubu has said the removal of the fuel subsidy and unification of Nigerian foreign exchange rate were aimed at fostering investors' confidence in the Nigerian economic system. President Tinubu said this on Wednesday at the United Nations General Assembly where he, where he campaigned the need for Africa to surmount foreign extraction and exploration in attending prosperity through democratic idea. Tinubu was, quote, was quoted by Chanes TV as saying, as for Africa, we seek to, to be neither approachable or patri or patriarch but we are making all that go away now we do not wish to replace old shackles with new ones but we wish that africa will move forward especially nigeria he spoke to foreign leaders of government just hours after similar speeches by u.s vice president by u.s president joe biden and ukraine president Zelensky. He added, if Nigeria is to fulfill its duty to its people and the rest of Africa, we must create jobs and the, and the belief in the better future for our people. We must also lead by example to foster economic growth and investors, and investors must have confidence in us in Nigeria. I remove the costly and corrupt fuel subsidy while also discarding the nuisance exchange rate system in my first day in office. Other growth and job orientation reforms are in the wings. The President talked on the topic, rebuilding trust and reigniting global solidarity, accrediting actions on 2030 agenda and sustainable development goals towards peace, prosperity, progress, sustainability for all. According to Tinubu, many proclamation has been made, yet our troubles remain close at home, Nothing, noting that for failing to failing in good administration and hampering of Africa progress, Tinubu lamented that unfulfilled promises, unequal treatment, and open exploitation from abroad has also taken heavy toll on Africa's ability to advance. Given this long period in history, if this year seems to be to term is to remain is to remain anything at all it must it must remain meaningful and special particularly to africa as he added the nigerian leader described the importance of second world war in forming of the united nations saying the period was a high water milestone for trust in global instructions and institutions and the sense of humility had learned the, necess the necessity of lessons to move us forward in global solidarity and harmony. Tinubu says it is Nigeria is now free for all to come and invest as he has taken away the corrupt fuel subsidy and working at it to ensure that 
that which Nigeria can give is made attractable to investors. He says it is time for them to believe in the future of Nigeria and come alongside to invest to make Nigeria a better place. Tinubu assured them that Nigeria will give the Othomos best to make things better for them. So this is what is happening. Tinubu was, um, you know, he was at the UN and he spoke extensively at how things could be okay and how things could be and then what needs to be done and you know how they need to begin to you know ensure that um, they are putting things in place so that the country can move forward you know he said he, he said he spoke extensively regarding the fuel subsidy he said it was the greatest you know scheme, uh, scheme of the century that is making things not work for people he said but they should not worry you know um, he has put all that in place so that, you know, the country can move forward and people can truly understand some of these areas and move forward, you know, so the investors can come to Nigeria and invest, you know, it says so that investors can come to Nigeria and invest and things can get better. He says so these are some of the things he has made things, you know, given opportunity for people to see that, you know, the, the, the country and everything going on there, you know, Nigeria is becoming a better place. Nigeria is becoming a better place and they, they almost understand that, you know, Nigeria is now free for invest, investors to come in. They should come and invest and put things in place so that, you know, at the end of the day, people can find the opportunity and find themselves you know in a government that they have a hand in so that together nigeria can move forward you know he said that you know nigeria is, is fondly being described as a giant of africa but how much of a giant are you if you are not if, if you cannot be if you cannot be uh, relied upon if you cannot be trusted and you cannot be depended upon he says so the dependency of africa you know is largely on nigeria and that is why he's calling that every single person, you know, understand, you know, and begin to put things in place for this nation to move forward. You know, he said it's important that people begin to see, you know, see all this and, you know, and, you know, begin to uh, become part of it and work together to change the course and gravitate towards moving the nation forward. So it is what it is. It is what it is, and uh, this is the time that every single person needs to understand this, and uh, you know, puts you know, puts uh, uh, Tinubu's words into consideration. However, you don't do that at the expense of the people. People are suffering. People are dying. People cannot feed. Uh, is that uh, what is all that? Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.